Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fao. Let's talk about Mortify. Mortify is, in my opinion, one of the greatest supportive units in the game. He will make sure that you will deal more damage. And on top of that, it's extremely easy to use. If you look at other four-star characters, they might be a little bit more harder to use because of how their kit works. That is not the case with this man. He just costs his abilities and your damage just skyrockets. It's very, very, very strong. So what does he do? Basic attack is called Impromptu Show. Basic attack. Mortify uses dual pistols and flames to perform up to four consecutive shots, dealing few fusion damage. Then his heavy attack, Mortify enters the aiming state for a more, more powerful shot. The aimed shot fired after charging finishes dealing fusion damage. This is the same thing for almost all pistol characters. You just have four quick basic attacks and then when you hold your heavy attack, you just zoom in and then you have like the scoped version, right? Mid-air attack. Mortify consumes stamina to perform consecutive shots at the target in mid-air dealing fusion damage. Something very important to know for that is that when you do this, he actually goes down relatively slow. You have to understand that that's going to happen. And I've had moments where it maybe backfired me. I didn't go down fast enough and then I got hit by an ability. So always keep that in mind. Then dodge counter. Use basic attack after a successful dodge to attack the target dealing fusion damage. Very straightforward stuff. Then is resonant skill. Your E. Passionate variation. Launching a flashing lightning of flames forward dealing fusion damage. Very straightforward. Just cast it. Deal damage. You get, you get ultimate charge. Very, very cool. Then is forte circuit. Resonant skill. Fury fugue. When Mortify's Annoyance reaches 100, his Resonance skill is replaced with Fury Fudge. When casting Fury Fudge, Mortify consumes all Annoyance to unleash high speed flame lightning dealing fusion damage considered as Resonance skill damage. So when you don't know what that is, right now I have just an E, and you cast it, you know, and you just do the damage. When this bar under here reaches a full 100%, you get an additional charge on your E, and when you cast that one, that's called the Fury Fudge, he will consume all of it, all of your annoyance that you build up to unleash a high speed flame lightning dealing fusion damage, considered as resonance skill damage. And this is very nice because with these two abilities, you can actually build up your ult really fast. And his ult is, of course, his resonance liberation. That's his, his big ability. Yeah, Annoyance. So this is the Forte Circuit again. So his Annoyance bar, Annoyance. Mortify can hold up to 100 Annoyance. When Normal Attack Impromptu Show hits the target, Annoyance is restored. So when your Basic Attack is restored, when the Intro Skill Dissonance hits the target, Annoyance is restored. When Resonance Skill Passionate Variation hits the target, it's restored. Within 5 seconds after casting Passionate Variation, Normal Attack Impromptu Show that hits the target additionally restores Annoyance. So it's a, a bunch of ways, you know, to build up your Forte Circuit. Then the big two abilities above here that you have to unlock. The first one is after casting Resonance Skill Passionate Variation, the damage of Resonance Skill Fury Fudge is increased by 25%. Cast on your E is increased by 25% after casting Resonance Skill Passionate Variation. Just a straight up damage boost. And now this is the big one. But let's first read his Resonance Liberation, his ultimate. Dealing fusion damage and applying Burning Rhapsody. All characters on the team. What is this? When the active character basic attack hits the target, Mortify launches a coordinate attack firing one Marcato. This is every time when you attack, he just attacks with you. And this is why he's such a good sub DPS. When your main DPS is on the field, when you deal the damage, you get additional bonus fusion damage every time. And it is very, very good. When you activate a character's heavy attack, Mortify launches a coordinated attack firing two Marcatos. So he synergizes extremely well with heavy attacks on top of that. This also works with basic attacks, but heavy attack characters like Gian or something like that, or another heavy attacker in the game, those characters will like be really, really good with Mortify. Mortify can launch one coordinated attack every 0.35 seconds and it deals fusion damage. So with this big upgrade here, during his ult, so his uh, Resonance Liberation, Burning Rhapsody, each hit of Resonance Liberation Marcato will increase the damage of the next Resonance Liberation Marcato by 1.5%, which can be triggered once every 0.35 seconds, stacking up to 50 times. This effect will be reset after Resonance Liberation Burning Rhapsody ends. So this is an extremely, extremely strong talent slash trace or uh, skill in this tree to unlock in the, in, the, in the skill tree. This is the big, big boy that you want to try to unlock. Every time you deal damage with this, the next one is going to be more damage. So you just stack, you rapidly stack up the damage very fast. And when your main DPS is on the field, you just skyrocket the damage. It's very, very good. He gets fusion damage here and attack percentage here. Then his intro scale is just a uh, just attacks the target and confusing damage. And then his outro scale is also very interesting. When another character comes on the field, the incoming character or character on nearby team that activates an outro scale has their heavy attack damage amplified by 38% for 14 seconds until they're switched off the field. Again, 
very synergistic with heavy attacks. Don't worry though, he will also work without heavy attacks. And I really like him on fusion comps. So let's say Encore. If you put Mortify with Encore, you just deal so much fusion damage. And then you have a really, really strong fusion de damage dealing composition. And I really like that about him. So along the way, there's going to be a heavy attack fusion character that synergizes with heavy attacks. He's going to be like God tier with that. And he's already really, really strong. Of course, Encore does have that charge attack for the for Horforte circuit. So, you know, there's a lot of synergistic things still with a bunch of characters that we have already. That's very, very nice. And if we cast his ult now, we can see that you have this little thing next to him. That is the, that generates the Marcatos, you know, and that every time you deal damage, that deals damage with you as well. And it's very, very nice. And he generates his ult relatively fast. So you could just, every time you cycle, you could just put the ult there and you're going to have a good time with a lot of damage. Then one thing to consider is of course his duplicates, his resonance chain. Hey. Pause the video right now. Over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. There's a few here that are very strong. His first one is during Resident's Liberation, his ult, Burning Rhapsody, Mortify launches coordinate attacks when the on-field character performs their resonance skill, firing two resonance liberation marcatos, dealing fusion damage. So when an on-field character performs their resonance skill, he additionally fires two of those marcatos. So he stacks up the damage even further. Very, very good. Then the second one, after using the echo skill, Mortify restores additional 10 energy. This can be triggered once every 20 seconds. So this helps with the cycle of his ult. And I noticed when I unlocked this one, you really, if you have these first two, you know, you're just, you're just gonna generate a lot of energy. And it's very easy for you to get his ult uptime smoothly every time. Then the third one, during Resonance Liberation Burning Rhapsody, the crit damage of Resonance Liberation Marcato is increased by 30%. Just a nice damage boost on top of the damage boost. Then this is the big one. This is the duplicate that you really want to try to get. During Resonance Liberation Burning Rhapsody, it's extended 7 seconds. This is crazy. An additional 7 seconds... This could mean that you could have permanent uptime on his ultimate when you do your cycle. It's crazy and it will skyrocket your damage on your main damage dealer. It's, it's insane. When resonance skill passionate variation or resonance skill fury fugue hits a target, four resonance liberation Marcato hits will be fired. Dealing fusion damage, damage of resonance liberation Marcato fired in this way is reduced by 50%. Just more damage, more firing of Marcatos and you know, just some bonuses, very nice. When Resonance Liberation Violent Final is cast, attack of all team members increased by 20% for 20 seconds. Also, a very, very big damage boost where you just, you know, get more damage for your main DPS. But this goes for all your teammates, right? So, Mortify is a force to be reckoned with. If you have him laying on your account and you haven't built him yet, hey, this is going to, him, he's going to skyrocket your damage. On top of that, he was on the Geon banner. You probably maybe have a few copies of him already. It's going to be insane the more copies the better then for weapon options i think cadenza is one of the better ones because you get the energy regen on him and it just makes his the more energy regen you can put on him it's going to benefit him to get his old uptime and it's going to 100 percent help you out this is a very 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 nice weapon and then hit the little effect while well, resident skills cast restores eight concerto energy this effect only triggered one times every 20 seconds so this will make sure you will get your old uptime you know very very nice and if you do have the Static Mist, the 5-star Standard Banner Pistol, this is also going to be an insane pick. You get crit rate, and then energy regen is increased by 12.8%. After performing Ultra Skill, attack for party members is increased by 10%. This effect can stack up to one time and last for 14 seconds. Very, very, very insane. Of course, if you have this, you can put it on him. Unless you, if you have another damage dealer that uses pistols. Those two are going to be 100% the best options for him. But if you have like a Nova Burst, you know, you could use it. It's not the greatest, but it works. Or if you have the Thunderbolt, when hitting a target with basic attacks or heavy attacks, increase resonance skill damage by 7%. You know, it, it's stacking up to three times. It's back in only last 10 seconds. Can be triggered one times every one second. So, you know, it, it's, it's not ideal, but if you have nothing else, you need something on him, right? So that could be something you could do. Cadenza is probably something you want to put on him if you have that it's a four star you can only get it on banners though so if you don't have that you could just put the crafting one on him or if you do have that five star weapon for him then you just put that one on him then for the echoes 100 moonlit clouds energy regen upon using archer skill increase the attack of the next resonator it's just you know common sense your sub dps gets more energy to cast the ult 
consistently and your next and your main damage dealer gets more damage it helps out tremendously for the main stats i would just do something like crit rate for the headpiece and two times fusion you can do for the 3-3 three, three. or you could do maybe one energy one fusion or two energy if you don't have enough and then of course attack attack on the one cost you just want to have a lot of damage so his ult is going to do a lot of damage it's going to be very very nice you could do molten rift as well this is an option if you want to do this set but i would 100 percent go for moonlit clouds i think all sub dps should have this by by default in my opinion for the most consistent damage on the field this is going to be an insane pick for your sub DPS category. Do remember that for the late game content, you need three teams. So even if you start building him and you and maybe he's going to get replaced, he can then go to the second or third team. He's going to be a very, very valuable character to build and he's going to be very valuable until a very long time, especially if you have a lot of dupes on him. If you're struggling with content, you do have this guy laying around. Hey, maybe give him a try and maybe you can clear some more content. Have fun and I hope this helped you. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It means the world to me if you could do that. Make sure to join the Discord. We're trying to grow the community even further. If you want to support the channel even further, then become a member. I love you all and have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.